What's up, Creed? Welcome to your Thursday workout. Got an AMRAP by five minutes, so making look this one, making to make this one quick. So, 30 seconds of a cardio choice. We'll show those in just a second. We have 10 cat to cow. That'll be five each direction, so a soft count there. Six dumbbell deadlifts and six dumbbell swings. We'll make it happen. With our cardio, 30 seconds, we're gonna go jumping jacks, or we can do high knees, or we can do mountain climbers. When you're on the ground, shoulders over our wrists, making sure that core is engaged. You also have the option to run if you have a treadmill. You can do singles or doubles uh, on the jump rope. You can do ghost rope, burpees, up downs, whatever tickles your fancy. Then we have 10 cat to cow. So we'll be down on the ground, wrists under our shoulders, knees under our hips, flat back. From this point, watch Mandy's hips. Kind of hard to see because she's in black today, but she's rounding that back like a cat that got scared. She's like, Rang! You know, all right, round that back, get a good stretch, and then she's trying to drive that belly button to the floor. So now she's really tilting those hips forward and down to the ground, kind of sticking that butt in the sky and bringing that chest up to the sky as well. So you're basically arching your back and then extending your back, arching your back and extending your back, and try to get a lot of movement from those hips. When you arch, try to posteriorly tilt those hips, and when you extend, anteriorly tilt those tips. All right, so basically movement controlled, a lot of pelvic control there. All right, then after those 10 cat to cows, got six dumbbell deadlifts. So we'll grab our dumbbell. We'll hold it nice and vertical here, fingers interlocked around the top. As we go down, think about driving those hips back and behind. Once those hands reach that knee plane, you can allow them to shoot forward. But the first initial movement is back with the hips. Keep those shoulders pinned back as well, big chest. Six dumbbell swings is what we'll end with here, so we'll keep that hand position. And all we're doing here is just driving those hips back and then shooting those hips forward with our glutes by squeezing our quads and our glutes to stand nice and tall. And she's exploding forward, letting it all come from the hips. Our workout for today, though, dumbbell deadlifts. All right, if you have a barbell, great. We can do barbell deadlifts, but if not, we're looking to find a heavier dumbbell, and if you do not have heavier dumbbells, you can either weight yourself with a book bag, put a bunch of textbooks in that book bag, put the dumbbells all together in a book bag, um, or a gym bag, something like that. You can grab with two hands and lift off the ground, but we have 10, eight, eight. Those are three sets across the board. In between every set, we have five handcuffed with rotation between sets. All right, and we will demo that movement. I may even pick this camera up and take it over to Mandy because that is a new movement that you guys probably haven't done, and we'll make sure we get it right. Then down here, four time, you'll have a 15 minute cap here. You can check on Wattify to see how long that cap is as well. But a half mile run, all right? So if you got your phone on you or a watch on you, you can download a running app. It'll be free on the app store if you'd like to. Or if you know about what distance a half mile is, you can gauge it off that. But you're running a half mile, and then once you get back, you have 30 dumbbell deadlifts, trying to go heavy here, all right? So uh, online, I believe, on Wattify, that heavy, if you had a heavy enough dumbbell, probably about a 50 pound dumbbell or plus, um, if the ladies anywhere from 40 plus. Um, but if you do not have a heavy dumbbell, you could add a few reps there, maybe do 40 dumbbell deadlifts, or like I said, add some weight to a gym bag or book bag. Another half mile run, and then the same weight for 15 dumbbell, dumbbell deadlifts, all right? Another heavy weight there as well. So, with the dumbbell deadlifts, I said that a lot today, we're gonna have our dumbbell vertical just like we did in our warm up, but make sure we are bracing that core. Big deep breath at the top. Brace, brace, brace. We go down to the ground, we tap the floor, we exhale as we drive back up. So it's brace like we're going underwater, and then as she comes back up, she exhales as she's coming up out of the water. So imagine you're in neck deep water every time you lift. All right, holding your breath, going under, brace, brace, brace. Exhale on the way back up. Good. Then, after those dumbbell deadlifts, every set we have handcuffed with rotation. If you have a bench at home, you can do these on a bench. If you don't have a bench at home, you can do these on the floor. That's the great part about them. You can do them anywhere. So, Mandy's gonna lay down on her bench here. She'll show the bench version. Um, same idea with the floor, though. She's gonna put her hands behind her back, and I'm gonna actually walk this over here now, just to get a better picture. But, handcuffed with rotation. So, imagine you're getting arrested right now. She's holding each hand, all right? She's holding one palm here with that hand. The first movement that she's gonna do is take those elbows back. So she's squeezing those scaps together, getting those elbows as high as she can. Once she gets her elbows as high as she can, she takes her hands as high as she can. So a lot of squeezing on that backside. She slowly releases those hands. She keeps her arms up, 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 up. And Mandy's got great shoulder mobility. Look at that, that's crazy. 
And then when you're coming together, you're gonna externally rotate your hands to where your pinkies come together at the top. So like our swimmers, we've done swimmers before. All right, and so when those pinkies tap, we come back the opposite direction, still raising to the ceiling, getting those hands as high as we can, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then when we're coming back, it should be a rewind of what we just did, releasing. So once those elbows are high enough, those hands connect, then we can relax after that's one rep. All right, after that's one rep. We're doing five reps here, guys. So take your time with those. Got about a 10 minute cap for that first portion. So with that being said, make sure we take those hand cover rotations really slow. It's working on end range of motion. If it feels easy, challenge yourself on entering that end range of motion, trying to get as much range of motion as you can around that shoulder joint. Then half mile run, then you'll go directly into 30 dumbbell deadlifts that we just showed in the string portion. Another half mile run, 15 dumbbell deadlifts. Then we have a finisher. Keyword optional though, so if you are dead after that half mile run, you can opt to not do this, but I challenge you, a little bicep finisher here. Have an alternating Tabata, so 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. It'll be eight rounds. So each one will be considered half a round. So half round, full round. So do both of these for one round. You're going, sorry, not eight rounds, five rounds is what you're doing, my bad. So it'll be five minutes total of work. So this is 30 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, one set. Do it five times. So T1, dumbbell waiter curls. T2, dumbbell gun hold. So our waiter curls, notice Mandy is holding like she's holding a tray, all right? So you'll place that dumbbell in your hands, palms open, and she's curling that weight up to her chest, making sure her biceps stay engaged the entire time, all right? So she's curling for 20 seconds. She'll rest for 10 seconds when that Tabata beeps and then she goes back into another 20 seconds of a gun hold. So she's holding that dumbbell across. So turn this way for us, Mandy. So she's holding each head of that dumbbell. So maybe if you have a heavier dumbbell, this would be a great challenge for those biceps, a great finisher to top off those arms. And then you'll roll through. That was one set Mandy just did. She'd roll through four more sets total for five minutes. See you guys next time.